Good evening and welcome to the United Benefits of Holy Innocence and Sin Mark on this Friday the 7th of August for our Office of Night Prayer or Compline. On this day when the Church commemorates the life and witness of John Mason Neal, priest, hymn writer, who died this day in 1866. We also pray tonight for the parish of St. Peter Petersham, for Tim the Vicar, for Francis and Norma, who have permission to officiate. We pray for all God's people there, and for the bishops, priests, and people in the dioceses of Oguni, Nigeria, Brasilia in Brazil, and Brazzaville in the Congo, for all God's people there. And for our bishops here in the Diocese of Southwark, for Christopher and Jonathan, Richard and Caraway, for all priests and people in their care, and for the bishops, priests and people in their care in our link dioceses in Zimbabwe. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us, while we sleep from evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night tread on the foot or deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know o father that we ask be done through jesus christ your only son and the Holy Spirit, by whose breath all souls are raised to life from death. Amen. Our psalm tonight is Psalm 139, reading from verses 1 to 18. The refrain, Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning, and to dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you, the night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts, you knit me together in my mother's womb. 
I thank you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you, when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep show you as our way, that trusting in your presence in this world, we may, beyond this life, still be with you, where you are alive and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Our scripture reading for tonight is First Thessalonians 5, reading verses 9 and 10. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now for our Gospel Canticle, the Nunc Dimittis, also called the Song of Simeon. The refrain, Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Tonight in our intercessions, we give thanks for those in our hearts and lives, those who are anxious, those who are feeling distressed, and indeed those who are being bereaved, those who are bereaved tonight. And we continue to pray for the Rayner family and the Corbin family as they mourn the passing of loved ones. Almighty and everlasting God, we beseech you to direct, sanctify, and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of your laws and the works of your commandments, that through your most mighty protection, both here and ever, we may be preserved in body and soul through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who at this evening hour lay in the tomb and so hallowed the grave, to be a bed of hope for all who put their trust in you, give us such sorrow for our sins, which were the cause of your passion, that when our bodies lie in the dust, our souls may live with you for ever. Amen. 
Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us again tonight, 7th of August, for our service of Compline. Do have a peaceful night. Be blessed. And do have a blessed weekend and join us if you can for our 8 o'clock Mass according to Book of Common Prayer on Sunday or our 10 o'clock which comes live from St. Mark according to the Mass is according to Common Worship and there is evening prayer on Sunday at 6 o'clock. So until then be safe and have a blessed night.